Well, heck, it looks like the YouTube algorithm brought you to part three of our Ecotech build. Well, actually, it's our DF Goblin kit car build that we're using an LNF Ecotech in. So, guys, this is uh, part three of our build over the past couple weeks after getting hit by hurricane after hurricane after hurricane and working on everything in, in candlelight like it's 1885 we finally reached part three of our build here if you didn't catch part two of the build we put the heads on piston rings in pistons in all that other fancy stuff i'm telling you you're gonna have to go watch it there it is just as exciting as watching paint dry so i'm gonna put it right where uh, youtube puts links for part two and part one one of these corners here so GM had a uh, really weird way of uh, doing things on this motor. Is uh, some of it used gaskets, and then some of it was bring your own gasket. So. And this one's literally 89 inch pounds, which is uh, seven foot pounds ish. All right, let's slap our water pump in here if I can figure out the orientation of this sucker. All right, so for you guys that are actually gonna be doing a timing chain, if you got one of these Ecotechs and you're just here to do your timing chain, I would highly recommend when you do the timing chain, now would be the time to do the water pump. It's a pretty invasive process, so another 30 bucks for a new water pump is a uh, pretty good idea. So on the back of the water pump, we've got a little pipe that goes from here to back here. Get, get into this when it's in the car, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's it's virtually impossible if you've got the turbo setup. If you don't have the turbo setup, uh, it's pretty easy to get to this. But if you got the big turbo hanging on the exhaust manifold here, it's a little more difficult. On the front here, uh, you can see the balance chain hangs right off the water pump drive gear there. So you got your balance set here, your balance set there, and then obviously your water pump drive there. So it feeds off the whole system there. And then back there, you got your little impeller here. All right, so here's a funny thing. With the magic of editing, the water pump took like 30 seconds. But realistically, it's 15 minutes. Again, super popular motor. A while back, just for, uh, you know, giggles, I uh, called around. It went like $700 to $1,600, pretty widespread, to, to change out that water pump. It's like three bolts. Um, pretty, pretty easy repair. Now, if it's in the car, it's all day job, um, but 700 to 1600 doll hairs. It's a lot of doll hairs. But now we're ready to do. We do balance, balance chain, balance chain. So that is going to be our new chain. Kind of wish I would have kept the old stuff so we could compare it. Um, so on the balance shafts, this is equipped with a dual balance shaft setup here. And, um, you can delete these. Actually, you can machine your own setup. Well, I wouldn't really machine, but with the drill press and some steel bungs, you can actually make your own delete set. Some guys do it. These are, these are essentially a, uh, a parasitic draw on the motor here, but we're gonna leave it for the heck of it for now. I think we're just gonna send it how it is, and then it's always fun to go back and pull everything apart and see how it fared and, and possibly upgrade. But I'm not sure what the numbers are. If any of you guys know what the numbers are, by doing a balance shaft delete, leave it in the comments section below. I'm, I'm not sure it's anything crazy, but hey, five or 10 horsepower adds up in a 13, 14, 1500 pound car. So we're gonna set that to high noon. Otherwise you can get some really insane vibration. And then that's gonna go to six o'clock. All right, so I'm gonna try to work this around not pulling the rest of those bolts off here. So gold chain is right here at 12 o'clock. Six o'clock.
So that's going to be there. It's going to be a 12. And then there's one more black chain deep, deep down here that's going to go on that sprocket here. Yeah. All right, so this one here is just a tad picky here. So it does have a bit of a sequence to this. So it's going to be upper. It's going to be 89 inch pounds for those. It's amazing how many years these things can hold up to. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is like the number one thing to fail on these motors. So, hopefully using an aftermarket one, it should be a little bit of a better situation. And then the last one. Make sure we get that in that track there. Otherwise, it's not going to do us anything, is it? not seating all the way. What's going on here? Why is that one not seating there? Fog. That's not right. Huh. Let's see what we got going on. All right, there we go. So we're set here. All right, so then we got a, uh, well, essentially our tensioner. It's like a grenade pen. You just, you pull it and it explodes. Ah, just kidding, but I don't want to pull it because then we'd have to go through the process of uh, resetting it. I don't want to do that. So we'll pull it right before we're ready to do the other chain. See if we can line these holes up. Bit of a tight little fit in here. Come on. Down. All right, so let me make sure. We need to check the torque. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we are good to go. That is locked in. I'm not gonna pull that pen yet. All right, I say we go ahead and pull the grenade pen. Oh, snap. All right. All righty. Let's get this out of here. Yeah. Not the hardest bolt in this sucker. And I'll show you the difference here of an activated one versus a non-activated one on these tensioner here so you can see that obviously that's the one we just pulled out that's our activated one and then a little bit of debris debris in here a little bit of debbie yeah all right so activated obviously our new one unactivated uh once they activate you're uh i wouldn't say you're screwed but you got to take them apart and push the pin in uh, but it's pretty cool how these activate so uh yeah So we got two of our uh, cam drive sprockets here. They look a little different on the naturally aspirated versus the turbos and stuff like that. There's no recommendation to, uh, to change these. They're actually pretty, surprisingly for GM, they're pretty well built. So, let's get this out of here. I believe this should have a gold link somewhere, or yellow link, whatever they want to call it.
Is that on? All right, that is on. Oh, wow, this one's like way better. Well, still cheap pop metal, but the original one that was in here was all plastic. It's a lot nicer. All right. Come on. I'm having issues with this particular sprocket right here. Come on. Oh, this thing had shims on it and I'm looking for that little dot right there and I could not find it because these these shims that are on this sucker here. Let's try that again. Ah. Where's my pipe? Need my pipe. A little bit of leverage on that sucker there. We're gonna bust those sensors out. Let's check that. We're gonna slap that back on there. And what I wanna do, set this back to 12 o'clock. All right, that's, are we still on the pin there? Oh no. Let's take a look. All right, we're still good. Well, damn. Not looking too shabby here. Now I'm gonna to need to find, to check our slack here. A little bit of slack. Let's see if I can find my long crowbar. All right, I think we're tight. So now we need to slap a 30 degrees. All right, quick check. Everything's torqued down. Everything's good. All the bolts in, I'm not missing anything here. Typically I look at my table for uh, extra parts, but yeah, that's a, that's an OCD nightmare right there. All right, and we'll check everything. See, we got a nice tight chain here, looking pretty good. 
let's say we uh let's say, let's say we go ahead and uh, give her a whirl start it up just kidding we still got to uh still got to mount it in the goblin here we still got some stuff to do um gotta get the valve cover on too um high pressure fuel pump back here i think i'm gonna paint the uh We'll get the same powder coat, the GM uh, Corvette orange for that, that Sunfire orange. Probably powder coat the top of the motor as well. But this looks like we are all set here. Man, I'm pretty excited. For this, I'm just uh, with the old Felpro for that one, about the cheapest one I could find. I would say that is, is that seated? I would say that is nicely seated there. We'll leave that on for right now. It's definitely not the right hole. Now you know I couldn't just reveal the motor after we were completely done with it. The paint job turned out really nice on this thing and I figured we'll actually save it for a special occasion. But the color I went with really, really is gonna pop, I think, on the Goblin. And I'm surprised this turned out as well as it did. And I really, uh, you know what, let's just take a really quick peek. Ready? <laughs> 